Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Tease Time. I'm TJ. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to do our uh, maintenance on our diesel heater by uh, S-Bar. It's a D4. I already went ahead and started uh, taking it apart because I had a no heat issue again. Uh, this, this time it wasn't because of low voltage. This time it was just because of, I believe it's the glow pin. Uh, this part right in here. I don't know if you can pick that up. Uh, I believe it's that part right there because like when I took this cover off you could smell the diesel uh, So you can hear like the pump working so it's getting fuel you can smell the fuel like it's getting air There's no air blockage the only thing missing to ignite is uh, the glow of uh, the glow pin uh, So I believe that's just like caked up with soot uh, just because I believe probably like just lack of maintenance. I don't know the last time uh, that's been serviced, but we're going to service that today. Uh, so lack of service and then a low voltage probably it was just having like too much fuel where like it was trying to start, but like it just kept dumping fuel and then the fuel just built up in there with that low glow and just probably built up around it. So uh, that's what I believe is the issue. I have the parts coming. They should be here today. But I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, taking stuff apart, which you can see I already started taking stuff apart. I already uh, took the cover off. If you do have a, a diesel heater, this applies to like the D2 and D4. Uh, but like just this cover goes on top like so. And then there's a little air vent flap uh, for the, the exhaust fan. Or the intake fan anyway. There's a little cover that goes over the back side like that. Uh, so you would take this off first, and then there's some clips on the back side. You just undo the clips, and this will slide off. And then the rest of uh, the removal is from the bottom of the vehicle. Uh, but before you do that, make sure you disconnect your power. You don't want this to try to like ignite and activate. You don't want the fans going when you're trying to work on it. Uh, that's what I did. I pulled the fuse right there. I already pulled that. Took the cover off uh to remove this you need like a special tool that allows for uh the wires uh to uh like fit through when you take it off uh or if you plan on replacing this because it comes with a new like harness you could just cut the wires to take that one off uh but to put the new one on you're gonna need the special tool socket so you don't damage the wires uh so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh remove that and we're gonna break it down i'm gonna show you like the inside of it the combustion chamber where there's probably like soot build up and then the glow pin which i believe is the issue and there's a, like a glow pin screen that goes like around that that kind of gets uh filled with fuel and then the glow pin lights and ignites or glows and ignites that uh so uh that i believe is the issue so we're gonna figure that out we're gonna see if we can get this thing going because right now there's a uh, there's no heat you know, like it still turns on, it tries to fire, you hear the pump going, I can smell like the diesel over there, so like it's, it probably just got flooded with the uh, diesel and just kind of just got caked up and just made the glow pin go south. Uh, so we're going to replace that. Uh, to make this quick, I could just uh, replace like the glow pin, but like I don't know the last time it was serviced, so I just ordered like a maintenance kit, it comes with uh, gaskets, the glow pin, the glow pin screen, and then a special tool to remove the glow pin. Uh, so let me get into just breaking this down. Let's get it removed and I'll show you uh, how to break it like down to clean it. And I'm going to use uh brake clean and just some uh, compressed air uh, just to like clean it out. And then I have a, uh, what is it? Uh, a brass brush or whatever you use, a scraping tool, just if there's like some caked up stuff you got to scrape. Uh, just have something you can scrape it up and clean it up and get it done. So yeah. Oh yeah, and before I go crawl on the bottom of the vehicle, uh, there's also a, a fuel filter that uh, needs to be replaced when you're doing your maintenance. It's a good idea to change this and just have these on hand in case like it gets clogged up. Uh, but that's on the bottom of the vehicle. Like I'm gonna show you uh, like the diesel pump uh, at the bottom of the vehicle and also like what you need to actually remove uh, from the diesel heater on the bottom, the opposite side, the mounting point of the diesel heater to get it removed. Uh, so I'm gonna just Go on to the bottom of the van, crawl under there, uh, get that stuff situated. I'm going to point out like the stuff that needs to be uh, removed. There's going to be a, there's a fresh air intake hose. Uh, there's an exhaust hose. And then there might be uh, some electrical stuff or even uh, like the fuel, fuel feed hose is attached also. Uh, so all that stuff needs to be uh, removed. But like I'll show you. So uh, yeah. All uh, right, it looks like there's a uh, four looks like 10 millimeter bolts that or nuts that hold the actual diesel heater in One two three four uh, this right here. This is exhaust that has to come off 
Uh, and then also you have your uh, fuel line that goes into uh, the diesel heater that needs to be removed. And then this is also the fresh air hose that needs to come off. So once you undo those, it should be able to pull from the top. And then for our uh, fuel pump, the fuel pump is right back there on the other side of the axle. Let's just try to get a, a better shot of it. So that's the fuel pump or the diesel pump right there. Uh, the filter is attached to that, so we have to remove that. It's on the back side of it. It's just unscrew like the there's like a flare fitting or compression fitting that needs to come off, and then the filter sits inside of that. But that needs to come off. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to kind of record a uh, removal of this, but uh, that's what you need to remove. But like once I have it off on the bench, I'll show you like the different uh, attachments. All right, so I. Uh... I was attempting to uh, remove those uh, four 10 millimeter bolts and move, remove like the exhaust uh, clamp that's holding like the exhaust pipe on there. Uh, everything is on there. It's kind of tight. It's, and uh, I believe I could probably just remove these four screws instead. Uh, and there should be enough slack to get it up and I could just remove it from uh, the inside. And I might actually even throw like some... Uh, like some silicone or something because like there's like bare exposed wood uh so moisture is probably getting in there also like when i'm driving and that could just kind of like eat away at the wood over time mold and stuff like that uh so i'm just going to remove that plate and then it just gives me opportunity to reseal uh the the plate to the floor like it's a plate probably just to kind of dissipate heat a little bit and it also mounts to it but i believe if i remove the the four screws from the top the whole thing should be able to pop up and I'll be able to remove like the, the underside of it uh, from inside the van. So uh, let's give that a go. See how that goes. Only cut this if you're going to replace this uh, glow pin. So that black caked up stuff, all that soot, I don't know if you can really pick it up, all that little crud, I'm going to probably end up using like a pick to get that out right there. So all that unburnt fuel.
All right, we got everything uh, disassembled and uh, cleaned. We got the filter, the diesel fuel pump filter installed. Uh, I got my uh, maintenance kit, but it's the wrong kit. It's for the D2. I need the D4. Uh, the difference is just like the gaskets themselves are just a different diameter. They're smaller than like what I actually like need. And it's like a three bolt for the smaller one. And I need a four bolt. Uh, so this is the wrong uh, kit, but it comes with... Uh, the glow uh, glow stick and then also just the tool to install and remove it and then we also have the, like the glow the fuel screen that goes around that that gets soaked with the the diesel fuel it's the, the same thing uh it's just uh the gaskets are the only difference uh between like the kits uh so i have to order that uh so we will be back it'll be the same video but like it's just gonna be an extra day for me it actually buys me some time like i need to get some uh silicone or something uh, just to kind of put like around like the wood and stuff like that see how it's like it's not covered uh, so I'll probably put like a little bead of like silicone and then just rub the silicone like around the wood and stuff like that to just kind of help uh, clean that up and I'm just going to plug the hole for now just cover this up so that nothing uh, decides to, to crawl into the van uh, so I'll be back in a second and we're back with the right kit uh, this is the right one. This is for the D4. The other one I had was for the D2. Uh, the other one just had a smaller diameter and there was like uh, three bolts on the gasket rather than uh, four like this kit has. Uh, so you open it up. The kits are pretty similar. Uh, the only difference is just like the gasket just because of the diameter of the, the housing itself. Our glow pin with uh, the harness and everything attached. Uh, the larger gaskets and then the fuel pin, the glow pin screen is in there with a, a tool for that also. Uh, correct gaskets. And then the glow pin uh, fuel screen. Or Adam was atomizer or whatever you want to call it and then the installation tool for that also and the special tool to remove the glow pin and install the glow pin i already removed the other one i just cut the wires to take it off uh, if you want to save that for like having a backup because like it probably would have been good uh, the only issue i really saw like when i was cleaning it was there like a soot build up where like the fuel feeds so it just wasn't getting fuel to the like the the fuel screen it was just uh like filling the chamber up with like uh diesel uh, so that's why it, it most likely wasn't working, but like I just went ahead and just did like a, a service on it. Just went in clean, checked everything, have new gaskets, uh, new uh, diesel, uh, the little inline uh, fuel filter is in there. And then we have a no uh, glow pin. Uh, so everything should be good. It should be operational. And then I went ahead and I sealed up the hole uh, just sort of the exposed wood. I just put like a, a thin uh, a thin film of like sealing on it just to kind of keep uh, moisture from getting in there and just eating up the wood. Uh, looked good once I like sanded it down, uh, but right now I'm just gonna go back into a uh, reassembly of the whole diesel heater. Right now, uh, we're gonna get this thrown together and then reattach everything: uh, your uh, fuel feed, your uh, intake hose, and then your exhaust hose at the bottom, and then also just mounted it to the floor. Uh, so once we get everything done, I'll turn it on and uh, hopefully, we'll cross our fingers <laughs> that I'll have heat. Uh, it's a little cold. It's a little cold, so I want to get this done pretty quick. Uh, so I'm just going to show you me assembling and let's go.
All right, attach your uh, bottom mounting plate. And then there's uh, four nuts that secure to the diesel heater. One, two, three, four. Uh, this one, the one that has like the dark uh, exhaust soot, the dark side, that's your exhaust side. And this is your intake side. And this little nipple is for the fuel feed. So just go ahead and just reattach all of that. And it should be good. All right. And before I finish mounting this to the floor, I'm going to start it up to see if it works. <laughs> Make sure it works before I mount it to the floor. So if I do mount it and then it doesn't work, then I have to like unmount it and take it back apart. But like it should work, it should be good. Uh, go ahead and reconnect the power. Make sure everything is tight, your fuel lines, uh, all the electrical is plugged back in. Every, all the electrical connectors are plugged into where they're supposed to go. And yeah, so right now we're just going to plug it in, turn it on, and I uh, hope that it, <laughs> it should work. We shouldn't even have to hope, like it, it should work. It'll be good. Uh, but just go ahead and bef uh, test before you uh, remount it to the floor. Alright, it works. It's good. Bada boom, bada bing, it's in, it's installed. Well, I gotta finish mounting it, but uh, it's in. Uh, make sure that you go and you check for uh, fuel leaks. There's some tissue. Make sure you check for uh, fuel leaks and then uh, go and remount like your uh, hose clamps. Like at this, holding uh, the intake tube up. And then just uh, make sure you finish mounting everything down. But like we have heat, it's functioning, it's blowing. It went through the cycle, it primed, and I actually feel heat. Uh, before I felt no heat at all, so we have heat coming through, so it's done. Uh, but like, I, let's just uh, do like a quick like uh, recap. Uh, you probably don't have to take apart like the whole thing that I did. Like I did, uh, just if you uh, replace that, uh, the glow pin, the, the glow pin, uh, the screen, the fuel screen that goes around that. And like if I would have just scraped like the carbon that's uh, blocking like the the fuel feed hole, uh, everything could be uh, reached from the top. Uh, so I didn't have to take the whole thing apart, but like I just broke it down just to kind of diagnose it, just kind of see like if there was like any soot build up on the inside. The inside was pretty clean. There wasn't like really too much. Uh, there wasn't pretty much anything like to worry about. Like I did scrape it. I did clean up like the little bit of carbon that was in there. But the only thing that was preventing uh, the diesel heater from firing was it wasn't getting the fuel that it needed. Uh, so like for anything to combust, you need uh, fuel, uh, you need uh, air, and then you need the uh, ignition, the glow pin. Uh, so like the glow pin might have been working, but like that's a rare item that you could probably just replace or just have like an extra one on hand just in case like that stops functioning. Uh, but like the main issue is wasn't getting like the fuel. So like I believe it was getting the spark and everything else like that. Uh, so like it's good. And like I just wasn't sure of like when it was maintenance last. But like if you do clean the inside out and use like brake clean, just make sure everything is clean and dry. You don't want to like combust a brake clean. Uh, yeah, that would be a problem. But uh, just make sure everything is uh, dry before you uh, fully uh, reassemble or even before you even uh, like start it back up. You want to make sure you get everything uh, nice and dry, especially like if you're using like a uh, brake clean accelerant that could just, it'll cause like a little explosion. Uh, but just keep that in mind. Uh, it's pretty easy. Like if you do uh, the maintenance on it, it'd probably just be uh, changing like the little filter, the fuel filter, which takes like a couple minutes. And then just uh, like the glow pin, uh, like the screen itself might be like the only thing you really need to replace depending on like if the glow pin isn't worn out. But uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was just waiting on parts and I'm pleased to have like heat pumping right now. It's a little cold outside. But uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. If you have any like questions, comments, or like concerns, just uh, leave them below in the comment section. Uh, thank you for checking me out. And then until next Wednesday, for every uh, action, <laughs> there's a reaction. Peace, DJ.